Oh, that's interesting. But I'll have I'll have a look at the screenshots a little bit later and then confirm it with all of you so you can just remember to share them. Hashtag Safari Live. So we're just coming back towards the hyena den. Let's see if there's anything happening here. I can see little ears sticking out, but I don't know if I can see any adults, so we won't be able to stay here for very long. Otherwise, I'm sure they would be cuddling up with the adults. Hi, little Fluffy. Oh, shame. The little cub is exhausted. It's got his head tucked right underneath its feet, just about. Oh, curled up in a ball. That's very cute. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? The two of them all keeping nice and warm, waiting for mom to come home, or moms, two different moms. Of course, these hyenas don't have the same mother. One is Ruben's cub, the oldest one, and then Scarback's cub for the youngest. How sweet is that? But like I said, that doesn't look like there are any adults here. That little one is, must be very, very tired. Because when we got here first thing this morning, they were running around being naughty. And just like little children, we often talk about it, the sugar boosts don't necessarily last very long. And if you are worried and you're wondering why we haven't been seeing the adults at the den, they don't have to come back all the time. Remember, hyena milk is very, very fatty, so they don't have to suckle every single day like a lion cub would or a leopard cub that needs to drink on a regular basis. They can go couple of days without worrying so he's so fast asleep even the even and Timo looks tired this morning Nikki you said they've been playing too much that's exactly what's happened they're exhausted now because they looked a lot perkier when we first arrived and then they were running around doing all sorts of things they started settling down just before we were about to leave oh, how sweet is this you can see that little one's listening out Listening to the right, listening to the left, the ears just twitching slightly. <laughs> and looks like its eyes are about to close any moment. Look how heavy they're getting. And then that head will drop down to the ground too. Yes, go to sleep if you're tired. You don't have to sit up because of us. Now, Colton, you're wondering if hyenas recognize their own cubs? Most certainly. It's the same sort of with all any animal species, Archer, is that when those little ones are young, they imprint on their mothers. They learn their scent. They also learn the sounds that they make. We A very good example, actually, of this is with impala. Now, obviously, impala are gregarious, and they live in big family groups. So you can imagine how difficult it is when you have lots of little impala that all look almost identical. And they often run up to the wrong moms in the first couple of days of their life. Or once, so not the first couple of days, once they rejoin uh, the herds, you'll often see a little one running up and thinking that it's its mom and then, you know, gets head butted head butted and told to go off and then you'll hear mom calling in the distance to reassure it. So so most certainly. But um, it it's important of course that they that they do learn the scent and the sound within the first few weeks of their life. But they look very sleepy and unfortunately, like I said, we're not going to be able to stay here because the adults are not here. So there's no guardians. We're going to have to leave them now. But thank you, hyenas. Came to check to make sure that they are well. And they are. They're having a